Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we will learn how to generate code by using Swagger Code Generator for various programming languages and framework. And today in this video we will looking at API first driven development and how we can use that in our Spring Boot project. And API first driven is used to generate controller and different endpoints in our project before even go to code and we just need to add implementation for these endpoints and swagger code generator will automatically generate the request and response model for our endpoints that we will see in this video and Today we will use API first approach to create the endpoints and that endpoints we will use in our Spring Boot project. For this we just need to use one jar that is provided by Swagger. So that jar will help to generate the code for various programming languages and framework. Ok let's start to write the code and we will see how it works so here I will create two projects one will be the simple Java project and another will be the spring boot project and in our spring boot project we will use the automatically generated controller and response request models in our spring boot project ok let's start first I will create one simple Java project so here I will go to new and create one Java project. Next. So here we need to define the project name. So here I will define bank API. And now next we need to select the Java version. So here I will use Java 1.8 and click on finish. So here we can see our simple Java project has created and in this project it's just showing one source folder that is already empty. So what we need to do. So here we need to use the jar that is provided by Swagger. So here I will create one folder that is lib folder and in this lib folder I will place that jar that will help to generate the code so now I will go to browser and here now I will go to memory repository and here I will just click and download this jar that is swagger code generator jar and its version is 3.015 so click on jar so it will start to download now I just need to copy this jar copy this jar and go to our eclipse and paste this jar here in lib folder so here we can see this jar is available now we need to define the API specification for our model classes and for our Spring Boot project. So here I will just create one new folder that is API API and in this folder I will create one YML file and in this YML file I will define the specification for API. So here I will create YML file and here we need to define yml file and in this yml file we need to define the specification of api so here i have already created this file so i will just paste it here so here what is here we need to define the open api version that is 3.0.0 i am using here and here we need to define the information about these APIs. So here I am defining the version 
that is 0 0.0 0.1 and title we can define any title like bank service and in description we can define the bank service and the next thing that we need to define is tags we can define multiple tags in number yml file so here i am just defining tag that is bank and the next thing that we need to define that is very important that is the paths of our api so here i am just defining the path of api that is student books so here we can change it like bank account and here we need to use the tag that we have defined here so here we can define the tag that is bank and inside path we need after defining the url of api that is get type and this is a summary and tags we are using now we need to define the description and model for this api so here we can see here i have just defined the paths that is url path and the api is get type http method is get and this is a summary and here we can see the description and here so here i have defined the operation id that means it will be the method name when our code will be generated automatically the operation id will be the method name and here we can define the responses that is 200 this means it's okay and another thing is content and we are expecting application or json format and here we need to define the schema that is array type and inside this reference we have defined the model that is component schemas bank it's referring to the bank model that we need to create now we need to create one component folder and inside component we need to create schema and inside schema there will be bank model so here i will just paste it and here we can see inside components we have created schemas and inside schema we need to create bank so here in description we can see this is the account model and the object properties and here we can change it like model name is account so here also we need to change account because here we are getting the list of account by using this api so here we need to change also the path so here we can write bank accounts so this will be the url when the code will be generated automatically so in this model we have defined only two properties one is the name and second is the amount so it both are the string type now we need to create one more file that will define in which file we will define the package structure for our api so here i will go and create one new file and that will be the json file so this file name will be like server hyphen code gen hyphen config we can define any name that is json type click on finish and inside this file we need to define the package structure for our api so here i will just paste it and here i have defined the group id for our project and artifact id and artifact version that we will define here this all will be generated in our code so here we can remove this interface only if we will be right here interface only true then it will generate only interfaces not will generate any class so here we need to generate both classes and interfaces and we can also remove use bean validation in future if we need we can write it again so here i am using spring boot version 2.3.6 and now what we need to do now how it will generate code we just need to create one file that will be sh file and when i will run the dot sh file that will automatically generate one spring boot project for us so now i will create one more file server 
hyphen code gen dot sh file in this file i will define few specification and properties here we just need to define the path of our jdk java that we are using and also need to define the path of our config file and our api specification file then it will understand and will generate the code for us so here i will just paste it in first line i have just write bin bash and it is used for to set the root path and this is the main line that is used to define our java path and the next i have defined the size and after that we have defined the d logback configuration file but here we have not created any logback.xml file so we can also remove this line and next we have to define our library that we are using here and we need to define the path for this library then it will generate the code and this is the name of the class that will be used to generate the code and this class is available inside this library and next thing that will be input api account api dot yml so here we need to change it because our yml file is bank hyphen api dot yml so it will take it and generate the code for us and here we need to define our server code gen config dot json file so it will understand in which package we need to place the files and here we need to create the output folder name so here i will define bank api web so in this folder output will be stored means our all classes will be stored inside this folder so it is a folder name and here we are using the language spring and the library here we are using spring boot and if we want to use any other language then we can use here like java and here we can use rest template library because java programming language supports multiple library that are different and spring supports the library that is spring boot so if you want to use spring boot project then we need to use language spring and library as a spring boot so here it has done so what we need to do now we need to generate the code so now here we can see here are only api folder and one is lib folder and when i will execute this file it will automatically generate one new folder that is bank api web so now i will go here and go to the folder where this file is available and here i will just open git bash we need to generate here so here i will open git bash here and after opening the git bash we need to run this command i have already copy and just pasting it here so here dot slash because it is in our root directory and click enter so here we can see code is generated now i will go to eclipse and we'll check so here in eclipse cancel it and refresh it so here we can see our output folder has created that is bank api web that we have defined here so inside bank api web we will see the code here we can see one source folder and one pom.xml file has created inside source we can see java com example that we have defined here in our server code gen config.json com example inside example there will be one demo folder and inside demo we can see our base api and config model is available so inside our api model we can see the code is generated automatically and we have not written this code so we just need to implement this interface in our code and we can directly provide the implementation for our api so this is the code generated by swagger code gen now we need to use this code in our spring boot project so now i will create one more project 
but before creating one more project we need to do some changes here i will go to my pom.xml file so inside my com.xml file we just need to skip the configuration so if the jar will be generated and we want the same format in our jar that structure we are seeing here for this what we need to do we need to add one change here in our spring boot maven plugin we need to skip the configurations so when the configuration will be skipped it will not generate any configuration file it will just generate the jar for same code now what we will do i will create one more project that is spring boot project and we will use that code in the spring boot project so here i will open start dot spring dot io and here we need to select the project is maven project and language is java and version we can use any version so here i am just using 2.5.0 and in our group id we can define com.example and demo like its bank service and we can choose any java version here i am selecting java 8 and need to add the dependency that is web dependency and here if we can want to generate dev tools so it will automatically run the code and execute if we do any change and we can write now i will just generate the project show in folder from here i will extract here and now i will just copy from here and go to my eclipse and we just need to import maven project existing maven project paste it here browse select and finish and from our pom.xml we just need to copy our group id artifact id and version so we can choose the jar now i will go to my bank service and inside bank service i will go to pom.xml and if i want to add the dependency of this project into my project so here i will need to define the dependency here dependency just paste it here and remove the packaging and name now we can see its version that is 0.0.1 .0 so one more thing that we need to do here i will go to my this project and go to the location of this project and open it and here we just need to make the build for this project so here I will just type maven clean install so here we can see build is success and now I go to my eclipse and here I just need to build my project run as maven build and here we need to define the goal so here i will define clean install and run and close these all files so it's showing no compiler is provided in the environment so we just need to provide the compiler so go to build path configure build path and here i will remove jre from library and need to add jdk instead of jre so here i will select installed jre yes. 
add standard vm and click on directory go to c folder program files and here we need to search java and select jdk and click on finish apply and close finish now i will make build again run as maven build now it's running fine and here we can see the build is success so here we need to use already created files that we have created so here in our spring boot project we can say there is only one main class is available so here i will create one controller new package that is controller and inside controller package i will just define one class and we also need to create two more packages like service new package one will be the dot service and one will be the implementation for this service load service dot inpl now i will refresh it and here we can see we have created so here we just need to rename this package and remove implementation first here what we need to do first we need to create one class that is bank controller and at class level we just need to define the annotation that is at the rate controller and here we just need to implement interface that was generated bank api interface and from this interface we can see first we need to attach source browse it select bank api okay okay and here we can see our api dot class we just need to override this method so now i will go here and just paste it here and we'll overwrite the controller API and here I will create one interface that is bank service and this bank interface bank service interface will contain one method and so it will return list of account list of account that model we have defined in our yml file get all accounts and here we just need to add these libraries and this model is also available now i need to create one implementation class new class in the new package service impl so here i will just create one new class that is bank service impl and this class will implement the interface bank service interface and here we just need to define a notation that is at the rate service and we need to add an implemented methods and here we just need to define the implementation here i have just created one accounts list and added two accounts in this list 
so when i will call this api this api will return the list of accounts so here i just need to override our bank service interface so here we just need to override bank service and from this bank service we will call and return the new response entity object new response entity with body and status so here i will call bank service to get all accounts and here we need to set the status HTTP status that is the ok and just close now I have completed everything now we just need to start our application and test the code run as Java application and our application has started now we just need to hit the url of our api so our application has started at port number 8080 now go to our api yml file so here we can see what we have defined the url for our api that is bank slash accounts that we need to hit so now we will go to browser and just type localhost 8080 and paste it here so here we can see the response that we returned from our api so this is done and this is everything code generated by a jar that is provided by swagger and our code was generated for our spring boot project and thanks for watching this video